In the third uh, example, we're going to see how you solve a quadratic uh, formula, a quadratic equation rather, using the quadratic formula, and this is one of the the, the canned or the, the built-in equations, which is convenient. Now, the quadratic equation is in required form with x squared plus something plus something equal to zero. If it's not equal to zero, we have to rearrange the equation and make it look that way. Now, coming down, we recognize that the values of our a, b, c coefficients are a is equal to 1, that's the coefficient of x squared, and b, 2, is the second coefficient, and c minus 8 is the third coefficient right there. So, now we can plug in the quadratic formula. And again, we'll go to insert equation. Oh, see what happened? We forgot to put in a space, and our equation wound up in the middle of the page. Uh, go ahead and delete that put in a space, go to insert equation again. Again, I'll go to home and make the font bigger. Calibra 16, that's fine. We'll use that. And uh, then we'll go ahead and come over, well, the equation tools, and come over to the equation tab, the big pie sign, and click on that. And come down the list of built-in equations, and we find we have the quadratic formula right there. So we can click that, and there it is. Now the next step is to start filling in the numbers we have. So we tap Control c after highlighting the equation, start a new line, put in a space, and paste it. Now I didn't get quite all of it. That should be x equal. That's fine. And now we'll put in the coefficient values we have. b is equal to 2. And a is equal to 1. Got to put parentheses around that. And c is equal to minus 8. Sometimes a bit sticky to find exactly what we want to change. There we go. Minus 8. And I'll back out and I'll put parentheses around that. Minus 8. Okay, after a bit of fumbling, that's the setup. We've put in everything we need to put in to, to solve the equation. In the next step, we just did some cleaning up. We changed the 2 times 1 on the bottom to 2. And the x squared in the top equation, we turned, or rather 2 squared, we turned into 4. And a minus 4 times 1 is minus 4 times a minus 8 is a positive 32. So this is what we have so far. We've got minus 2 plus or minus the square root of 4 plus 32 divided by 2. Now, let's put uh, the entry point on the right-hand side and continue typing here. And let's break this fraction down. Let's uh, break it down as follows. Go up to the equation tools and put in a fraction. On the top we have minus 2 over 2. Oops, put the point right, entry point right there and come up to our list of symbols and put in plus and minus. And we want another fraction. And 32 plus 4 is 36. And this is square root 36 divided by 2. Put the entry point on the right hand side was equal to, we can highlight all this and click control C, put it over there, and this whole thing out front here becomes minus 1, plus or minus the square root of 36 is 6, over 2. which again, continuing the march, is equal to 
minus one. I didn't want to do that. There we go. I want to copy it. Control C. Minus one plus or minus three. So So summing it up, we see we have two answers. We have either x is equal to minus 1 plus 3, which is equal to 2, or x is equal to minus 1 minus 3, which is minus 4. And we can take either the value of 2 or the value of minus 4 and plug that value back in for x in the original equation and see that the relationship is, in fact, equal to 0 for those two values of x. Hence, these are roots of the quadratic formula, or the quadratic equation. And that's the end of uh, that demonstration.